Good day. This is Russell Hawley coming to you from the Tate Geological Museum in Casper, Wyoming. And today we will be uh, talking to my colleague, J.P. Cavicelli here. Good day. We are uh, looking at the behind the scenes aspect of the Geology Museum today. We're looking at the collections, which are in this uh, room in the back and uh, talking to J.P., who is our collections manager. So uh, what have you got to show us here today? Well, these are some of my favoriteest fossils of the things that we've collected in the past, well, I've only been here 15 years, but yeah, in the past 15 years. So we've been working some uh, bone bed sites in the Lance Formation with our pay to dig folks. And these are some of the coolest things we have found. You know, people like to come out and dig up dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool and exciting and stuff, but crocodiles, much more interesting. So this I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. This is a Cretaceous crocodile skull that we found in one of our bone beds. There it is right there looking at the palate side. It's actually missing a few bones right in here. And it's also missing all its teeth. And this is the tool mark of discovery where it's missing the tip of its nose. But if we roll it over, come here little crocodile. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful Look at little that crocodile texture. skull. Can you guys see this? Yeah. It's got crocodile texture all over it. And when I say crocodile, I mean anything between a crocodile and an alligator, a caiman, a gavial, and a longer rostrian croc. So the whole crocodilia, <laughs> crocodilia. Order, but they've all, is, is that right? They've, they've all got this texture on they the do. skull there. Yes. That network of pits and ridges. You might yeah. remember this from an earlier podcast. Right. So this is how old? This is probably 66 million years old. Okay. And if we had a modern alligator skull with us, we could compare it and let's see how exactly similar it is, which is quite similar. Right, right. I think this is a crocodilian based on the large canine teeth. Canine. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about the anatomy and taxonomy of these things. Do we know what uh, genus this is? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I haven't done my homework on that one yet. But yeah, it, it certainly is very similar to a modern crocodile. Yeah, it's yeah. very similar. All and right. In here, so in this I've little clamshell, dying to see what's we in We have there. another specimen. Here, let's put that somewhere out of the yeah, picture. somewhere safe. So I'm going to hold this one up. This one's a little bit more delicate. Oh boy. Yeah, better better you than me handling this one. So That's there's the top side crumbly. of his skull. All right. It's very similar. The preservation is not quite as nice. But eye sockets there. Eye yeah. holes. What are these two holes, Russell? Why, those are the super supratemporal fenestri. What happens in there? Well, uh, they're covered with a membrane and then a muscle, uh, a jaw closing muscle runs up through the inside of the skull and attaches to that membrane. Yes, very Also cool. in um, Live and Let Die, the James <laughs> Bond movie, T. He says that you can kill a crocodile by taking a very sharp pencil and jamming it into that hole. Hmm. But James Bond doesn't get a chance to test that out, so we don't know we if could, that actually works or not. We could look at that guy to find out. Yeah. But let's do that later. Do it later. All so right. this one's a little bit bigger than his friend over here. And he's actually got, on the underside, a total of one tooth. He's also got the tool mark of discovery over here in the exact same spot as his friend. Wow. And this part here was probably weathered away during the Cretaceous before it was buried. This part here is an ironstone nodule which just sticks to these bones Boy, and that's frustrates really, people. Really ugly. Yes, yeah. very ugly. But the really interesting thing about it, this was found again in a bone bed. so. A mixture of bones of all kinds of Cretaceous critters, from crocodiles, turtles, uh, lizards, fish, uh, amphibians, and of course dinosaurs. This one, right in here, inside the skull, is a piece of turtle shell. No kidding. Yes, just jammed oh, in there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the rib. That's the rib. This is, we're looking okay. at the inside of a turtle shell here. Yeah, just stuck in the skull. Unbelievable. It's pretty cool. So. They just got buried together. They he didn't got eat the turtle or anything no. like that. Okay. No. Uh, that's, that's too bad. That would have been cool, but uh, yeah, still, still a neat find. So let's do that again. Let's pick this All one right. up. Now you try to kill this one by sticking something very sharp in there. All right. Just pretend. Jam. And there's his brain is right. Th oh, oh, the two whoops. fingers. Let's okay. Do this. So I missed it completely. But wait, yeah, let's do it not again. Not close. If you jam your finger in there. Uh-huh. 
and I jam my finger in here, that's where yeah. the grain is. Our fingers are not touching. But if we aimed a little more carefully, we might be able to kill this already dead crocodile. Okay. In a very James Bondian sort of way. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then the we last We have one more little piece over right here. Let's now. just bring the... Okay. Put ah, the box back. some teeth at last. Yes. There this one is go. from one of the same bone beds. This is a lower jaw. All right. And this one's got one, two, three, four, five, five and a half. Five and a half, teeth. right. This one was also found with a hammer, which was un unfortunate. We didn't expect to find anything there. But... Uh, we ended up finding this, and uh, one of my volunteers put it all back together as best he could, and he did a pretty darn good job. Yeah, that and was the interesting good. thing about this is that it's got two really big tooth holes right here. So those uh, would have been so some those... good sized teeth coming out yep. of there, like like about that long. I Probably, imagine. Oh, I yeah. imagine even longer. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And they're twinned, and I think this is one of the characteristics that if I was to do my homework, I could tell you what species this is. Maybe on a future episode. Maybe on a future episode. All right, so stay tuned yeah. for further developments.